Consider for a minute. You are freshman, new to Austin, just having left home, not remotely interested in domesticity. And yet, you wake up, have breakfast, oops, maybe you don't actually wake up, you study, go to class, go to lunch, go to a class, another class, again, class, and horribly, yet again, maybe another class. Why would you stay in and prepare dinner when you could go out, have a night on the town with friends, and have fun after a long day? Live your life, enjoy the better things. Or consider, you're young and mobile. You work multiple jobs, and you keep odd hours. You love, what you, you love everything you do and doing it well, but you do it outside of the regular nine to five workday, and so unfortunately you have no time for yourself. Relax, take a breath, and take a step back. Let us help. Enjoy the better things in life, easily with TasteBud, available for free on the App Store and Google Play today. Let's eat. Onto the numbers. So we are currently partnered with over 30 local and, in, local and small chain merchants, ranging from food trucks like the Jalopy Rotisserie to our most rec recent acquisition, Trudy's in the North Campus area, and uh, right over by Spider House, who we're actually talking to as well. And you see the logos of some of our partners. On the drag immediately, we have Mellow Mushroom, Cadoba, and Fuzzies. Now, Per the National Restaurant Association Pocket Factbook, published in January 2014, 72% of adults would eat out more often if incentivized through off-peak pricing or lower pricing during off-peak hours. They further estimated that over $660.5 billion would be spent in the restaurant industry by consumers within this calendar year. We took that to mean that by, that by pushing preferential pricing to off-peak eaters and then, and then creating new off-peak eaters that we could create an entirely new market segment for those restaurants, people who they did not immediately have access to. So say it's 3 p.m., between 3 and 5 p.m., and the lights are on, you have 40 covers, and no one's there. You're still paying for air, you're paying for light, electricity, plumbing, all of that. We're giving merchants a way to fill those tables and so not make a loss during that time. Furthermore, we have also found, building on the National Restaurant Association stat, that students specifically eat out far more often at off-peak off hours. Now, we profit by making a commission on each sale. From us, merchants receive those new repeat customers during off-peak hours, an entirely new segment they did not, pre they did not have as good of access to. Furthermore, they receive direct advertising and feedback with the incoming student body. They can bypass the noise of street advertising, print work, by, going directly, by having a line directly to the first year students to whom we advertise. From us, consumers receive 30 to 50% savings on every meal from a free service. Now, we currently have over 500 monthly purchases we have 500,000 raised in venture capital for the sole purpose of proving the Austin market, where we are right now focused around the university campus. One of three, and now for conversions, one of, all, one of three new users makes a purchase. One of those three then becomes a repeat buyer. From June through October, our revenue is seven times what it was. Purchases have increased six, uh, 660%. We have four times as many accounts as we did, and app sessions in total between iOS and Android, over two and a half. And as of, Oct well, as of November 1st, so the entire month of October, 23.6% of iOS launches become purchases, and nearly the same percent of Android launches convert. So for Cadoba, for example, we offer an in-store promo in promotions. We found that every dollar spent, so every dollar discounted, in, in our deals returns what returns a dollar and 16 cents within 30 days. 
And furthermore, 85% of all those purchases occur in, occur in off-peak hours. For the out-of-store promotions, our normal just pushing advertisements through the app, our mailing lists, our existing user base, even organically, we have 42.9% of those are repeat customers, making an average of four purchases per month. In the future, for, by January, we are expecting 1,000 per transactions per month, purchases. We expect to have 50 merchants and 8,500 US dollars per month in gross revenue. By June, we are looking at over 5,000 purchases per month. 20% of our merchant base by then should have at least 10 purchases per day. And with our price driving up, as we, well, by offering more expensive food at different restaurants, but still offering the same type of discounts, we will expect to have 50,000 per month revenue by that point. Thank you very much.